when you tell people that you, you do cave diving, they say, oh, you must be an adrenaline junkie. But in fact, it's the exact opposite. When I get underground and underwater, it's 100% focus. And all you hear is really the sound of your own breath. And you're, you're in kind of a, for me, what some people call the flow or the zen. It's this whole experience of calmness. When all's going well, all systems go, you just feel like really you're on this magic carpet ride through the underworld. You know, the flip side of being in this unique otherworldly environment is the, the danger. And it's a pretty good challenge just to go into an underwater cave and come out alive. I've had a lot of friends who've died in these caves. In the moment, you don't let these outside thoughts come in about extreme danger. You really just focused on making sure all your systems are going, on navigating, and then you start adding the science, the filming, collecting data, taking pictures, different sorts of sampling. It's really a multitasking challenge. When people ask me, what do I like best about going to a cave or what's the neatest thing you found? It's less what I found than the, the experience. I guess the greatest thing I ever found underwater was an ability to keep myself calm. And I tried to take that and bring it to the surface. I'm realizing that we're really just scratching the surface of what is really here. I didn't expect anything that beautiful to exist 